Uh, I believe that the Lord uh, anoints certain people within the body of Christ with the anointing he gave to the sons of Issachar, which is to understand the times and the seasons. And I believe the global prayer call is a call to certain people who have heard a call of the Lord to understand that this is a most strategic year, uh, one of the most strategic years ever in the history of modern Israel. Uh, the fact that it's 100 years since the Balfour Declaration, the 50th anniversary of the reunification of Jerusalem, coming upon next year, which of course we'll be celebrating the 70th anniversary of this modern nation state of Israel. And so it's a very key strategic season. I personally believe that it's the season in which God is, uh, is shifting and, 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 and bringing pressures to bear upon nations to be open to new alliances, to new possibilities concerning their relationship with Israel. And it's actually a time in which many nations which are, have been headed almost blindly in the course of a, of a goat nation rebelling against God, rebelling against his will, rebelling against his choice of Jerusalem and Israel in his end time plans, that those nations could be turned around to become sheep na nations. So it's a very key time to pray for your nation to intercede in Jerusalem during the anniversary of the 50th, uh, 50th year of the reunification of this nation, uh, the, the, the capital of this nation, Jerusalem, to come together and, and pray for your nation nation, that your nation could shift during this important year before the 70th uh, anniversary of the state. I, I believe it's also obviously a key time for Jerusalem and for Israel. So many things are in, in the balance right now. And it, it, it is intercessors hearing the call of the Lord and coming together that can tip the balance and that, and that can cause an overflow of, of, of great blessing upon Israel and upon your nation.